Hello, and welcome. It has been a long time since I've made a video, so, uh, I am playing on a series that I've named Worlds. It's, uh, Feed the Beast. I'm going to be playing the mod packs. I'm going to be playing the mod packs in Feed the Beast. Magic World 2 and Tech World 2. And uh, I'm about to start my Magic World here. I've already started my Tech World. Okay, Ryan, you don't have to tell everyone who does not know what game you're playing what you're doing. Okay. A chill runs down your spine. You feel oddly attached to something. We heard a rumor on the marketplace that there is a hidden altar which if anyone unravels its secret, they will gain tremendous power. So we packed up everything to find this altar. All this time we have been traveling across oceans, through deserts, and into deep de de jungles, thinking we would find this elusive altar and unlock its power. But we are exhausted and our crew is dehydrated by heat. Will we ever find it? I'm not wanting to be excited, but we finally found it. The hidden altar is just as the rumor described it, but it's not just one altar here. This underground city hold, hundreds ranging from one to four steps high, with strange obelisk-like structures in the corners. After doing some research on the altars, we did a we did a gr gruesome discovery. On the altars, we found skulls and heads. Something inside me tell, s says to leave all this alone. But in the name of science, we must push on. After digging further into a cave system behind the city, we found a semi-active altar. This is a great find for us because we didn't we didn't had a breakthrough since we arrived on first sight. We notice th that the obelisks have a strange influence on the altar. also noticed some colored crystalline shapes in the obelisks. What would they do? As we looked around for three days, we noticed a lot of broken crystals on the ground. But none would fit inside the obelisks. I personally think we, sh we need a pure crystal. It also looks like there are a lot of green jewels laying around that do not look like crystals in any shape or form. I might try something with those soon. Yes, I was right. These green jewels we found, they interact with the altar, creating a uniform crystal. As one of the men looked through the crystal, he found that there was something sh that there was some strange text near the altar. What would this mean? We do no we do notice the world corruption. Let's hope it's nothing serious. 
Last night we heard a hor horrific noise. So most of the crew didn't want to stay, and I left. And left. I believe we should just find out what the altar is made from. And we have to pack up and go if I want to make it home alive. Luckily, there is another team working on finding out what the structure is made out of. They, they say we can pack up and leave tomorrow, but as I wander around in one of the small houses, I found a strange device. This confirms my thoughts since day 32 of the heads of, on the altars are those of real Steves and Stefan, Stefans that lived a long, Stephanies, that lived a long time ago in this world. I must take this home with me. The team that was working on finding out what the structure was made of has suddenly disappeared without a trace. Lucky, luckily, they had already analyzed the whole structure. It seems the base of the altar is made from a special mix of a purplish fungi looking grass, some obsidian, a crystal, and a catalyst that combines the powers of the nether with the end. It's also noted here that the smallest of the pyramids is 3x3 three three square that is one high. When I turn the page, I see they found out that the obelisks are some kind of conductors that are connected to the base and the altar. This is very interesting. They are made from gold, which was obvious. Some of the base blocks and the catalyst again. A small, small note pops out of the book they have written. It says, "We should never, we should have never discovered this place. We need to leave now before it's too late." On the way back, they quickly scribbled that the altar itself consists of the same blocks as the base again. A radiant source of power. Some gold and star that shines in hell. We will have to find a way to build it when we when we are back home. Everyone was right. This place is cursed. I just felt a chill go down my spine while sleeping in this godforsaken place. I'm running now with my bag and research notes. The undead have attacked. They seem to have heads on their heads. Most of them are, f are from the disappeared team. But wait, is that my head? I just escaped sudden death, it seems like. The, the undead won't follow me outside. Thank you, son. Time to go home. Home at last, time to spend the rest of my money developing this beacon with a team. I have to study it more. There must be a way to unlock its powers. The replica is done and works. I will write history with this. I also just noticed that I still have this strange device in my bag. I wonder what would happen if I put this... I thought yesterday was a dream till I noticed my diary here and found a horrific truth. My head was on the floor. This can't be. It's impossible. A few hours after I recollected my thoughts, I thought maybe this is the key to unlock the altar's power. So I placed the head on the altar and it seemed to interact with each other 
and I feel better than ever. I can jump higher, run fast, run faster, dig faster, and I'm much more durable. This is great. Did I finally unlock its true potential? This makes me wonder, however, wh what were those crystals doing in the obelisks? Those are worries for later, though. For some reason, I got my, I got pulled back from my presentation about the altar. The to the altar itself, strange. When looking through a crystal, I see the corruption is now clearly visible and I have to get rid of it. I can't find out how to release the corruption. These are my last words in this world. Find a way to balance it that is its greatest treasure. Goodbye, whoever reads this. Dr. Professor has left the game. Okay, well here's something cool. Oh, I got regeneration. Brian?
I don't know, but I want it. Okay, now I'm out of here. It has gotten too dangerous now. No, no, d uh, no! Why? Oh, are the research notes here? Research. I can't lose those. Oh crap. Sorry, people. I I can't lose those notes. Research notes. Okay, good. I guess I should have been a little more careful. It's a weird sound. It makes a really weird sound. Okay, let's not die. I'm definitely checking this out. It's an Enderman! Sorry, I did not mean to punch you. Are you okay? Are we still enemies or are we friends? I'll give you a piece of bread. Please, just don't attack me. Oh, you tried. A ruby for an emerald, two rubies for enderpearls. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I did not mean to punch you. This is pretty cool. Okay, uh, 
I'll leave you guys alone and regenerate. I'll come back at a different time. I don't have any rubies though. Sorry guys. They really scared me though. This crafting table looks a little odd. Whoa! It's an angry wolf. Uh, I'm not really sure whether to say the wolf or the sheep. Yeah, go. Thank you. save you or at least I'll try to save you from the wolf Sheeps of every color. What is that? I don't know. That seems freaky epic. It's a wake bloom. Maybe that is Dylan, I think that sheep, that pink sheep, are gonna be pretty common here. Like yeah, we haven't, but I'm assuming they can. Yeah, like So, first course of action, we should try building a house and kill all these cows we definitely won't have a problem with food here so 
I think this is the right place to set up a home. And there's all these types of woods, too. Oh, this is a great, great place. It's hard to think that there'd be any sort of corruption in such a wonderful place. something I think that all of us should agree on is that most youtubers first videos are kind of boring Ooh, some ink sacks Man, these trees drop different things Ooh, I wonder what the orange tree drops them hopefully oranges So this is definitely a great place. It drops a orange dye. Well, that's kind of awesome. But, uh... This is probably a great place for farm craft studies. Whoa! These pigs have been given some weird enchantment. It's resistance. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go down there and get that. Slaughter some more cows. This is definitely a great place. I never thought of there being such a great place in any mind. Here's the Thawmcraft shards that I'm used to. Not those weird ones. The weird ones. Can 
because I've only played uh, Thumbcraft 1. What is that? It's a frogger. A forger. Please don't attack me. Please don't attack me. Do you sell stuff? No, you do not sell stuff. But I do not want to tango with you, man. You look deadly. Are you gonna pick- No, he picks up my iron! He picks up my iron! Oh, that little butthole. You're going down. Oh, he dropped oh, mana bean. Okay, so let's finish getting this iron here. Oh, no. I need my light. My light is cool. Light is my friend. There's another one! I wonder if he's gonna drop a mana beam too. Probably is. But I'm not gonna kill that guy. Just if he grabs my stuff. Especially if he grabbed my only torches. Probably use jungle with this one to get that. Do you guys hear that? Oh my god! There's just so many animals around here, it's making making me go crazy. Oh my god! All the voices at night. Just think about it. Seven, 
starvation in this forest, I think. But this forest is like paradise, man. Okay, how long did it, how much longer did it Eight minutes, probably just long enough for me to finish up this house. I'll show you my tech world in the next in the next video then. Finishing my awesome house, doing some research into Thomcraft, and more in the next exciting episode of Bearded Lizzie. FTB. Worlds. This is Bearded Lizzie, signing off.